Welcome to Group 1's project on matrix organizational structure. Group 1 consists of Justin, Heidi, Kendra, Andrew, Rachel, Nalima, and myself, Jesse. Today we're going to introduce what a matrix organization is, and to do that, we actually need to rewind and review what a traditional structure looks like and uh, compare it to the matrix structure that evolved out of necessity. So as you can see here, represented by the black dot, traditional organizations' uh, goals and decisions are usually uh, given out from the CEO down to the line managers and eventually down to the employees. And you can see it's very top to bottom, uh, all, all decisions coming from the top and being disseminated down to the employees. So as you can see, that particular structure uh, worked very well over the last 100 years or so. Uh, allowed large corporations to handle uh, their decision making and was pretty stable and was pretty successful uh, in general up until the latter half of the 20th century uh, and where the business and the markets were changing faster and faster and there needed to be a better way to quickly execute business decisions throughout the company. So an analogy would be you know, we're used to this large cargo ship, uh, as in the traditional structure, trying to make a 90 degree turn within a city block, uh, as compared to a jet ski, which can make it within a, a couple feet. So uh, that's eventually, essentially where the matrix structure evolved was, was more of like a jet ski. It could, it could manipulate and it can definitely execute a maneuver much quicker than, uh, let's say, a large cargo ship. So uh, as you can see here, this shows that in a matrix structure, we have the traditional vertical, uh, whether it's functional uh, reporting structure down and introducing a horizontal linkage with product or project service managers. And this allows the uh, product or project service managers to reach across each siloed function uh, to be able to deploy the resources or access the resources necessary to deliver the product. So uh, very different uh, and quite a big departure from the traditional structure uh, as this creates a dual reporting structure. Um, this helps companies with uh, low to moderate resources uh, reach out and, and deploy to each siloed function to get the necessary information and create and deliver the product uh, in, a, in a much quicker manner. So um, this reminds me of the matrix where Neo has the option to choose the traditional blue pill or on the other hand, uh, he could choose the red pill which allows uh, a change, uh, much faster change uh, in executing decisions with the matrix. So 